Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our uh, service of midday prayer today on Saturday the 28th of March. So obviously the building of Beverly Minster is closed uh, due to the government and the CV advice, but the church is still very much open. So here we are, hopefully uh, praying together and worshipping together uh, from our homes in Beverly and further afield. Uh, the liturgy for today's prayer can be found on our website beverlyminster.org.uk so um, if you're watching this later on you can print that off or have it on a screen next to you. Uh, yeah so let's begin. O oh God make speed to save us, O oh Lord make haste to help us. Hear my prayer O oh Lord and give ear to my cry Hold not your peace at my tears. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Our psalm today is Psalm 61. Hear my crying, O God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call to you with fainting heart. O set me on the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever and take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, will hear my vows. You will grant the request of those who fear your name. You will add length of days to the life of the king that his years may endure throughout all generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. May steadfast love and truth watch over him. So will I always sing praise to your name and day by day fulfil my vows. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The reading for today is from Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 38. Jesus entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. So she came to Jesus and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to then tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our prayers today. God of love and hope, you made the world and care for all creation. But the world feels strange right now. The news is full of stories about coronavirus. Some people are worried that they might get ill. Others are anxious for their family and friends. Be with them and help them to find peace. We pray for the doctors and nurses and scientists and all who are working to discover, discover the right medicines to help those who are ill. Thank you that even in these anxious times, you are with us. 
Help us to put our trust in you and keep us safe. Amen. We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving, wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Amen. Father God, we thank you for all those who are working to preserve life and care for the sick and vulnerable. We pray for their protection, health and peace. We ask that those who are anxious and afraid will know you as their saving shield. Amen. And a collect for today. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to seek for any reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God bless us and show us compassion and mercy. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining with me today. Um, we will continue doing this every weekday and Saturday for as long as this goes on. And of course, uh, tomorrow we will be broadcasting a service of communion, uh, which Wendy will be presiding at, as well as a sermon that she'll be uh, broadcasting separately and a small children's talk that I'll be doing. So hopefully see you all then. Thanks, guys. Bye.